Hello and welcome to the swing tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create these nice swinging text animations like this one here. And I'm also going to show you a method how you can easily control your animations and drive the whole project with just one layer, like this one here. So let's just jump into After Effects and get started. So what we have to do here is basically create two different text layers, which are swinging of course, and they are somehow connected to each other so that it looks like one nice animation. Okay, let's get started. I have already created a new composition, 1280 by 720. And you may expect me now to just type in the first text and animate it, but that's not how we do it, because as I told you, we are going to learn a special technique today on which we control the whole animation with just one layer. So let's create this new layer and this will be a null object. And let's make it 3D so that we can apply a 3D motion to it. And we are going to animate the X rotation. So let's do this. I quickly show you how I normally do this. So I set a keyframe at the first frame and I type in for the rotation minus 90 so that the layer is completely flat. Then because I have typed in 90, I go forward nine frames. And now I type in 80 and as I have the eight now, I go forward eight frames and type in minus 70. And I guess you all know what I'm doing, so let me just quickly skip this step. So let's quickly take a look how this animation looks like. Okay, it's somehow swinging, and if we take a look over here in the graph editor and click on the rotation, you can see that the Animation is somehow right, but we want to have curves here and not those edges. So let's go back to the keyframe view. And if we now select all of them and right click on them and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now what this basically does, it starts the animation slowly, takes up speed and to the next keyframe, it slows down again. And this is exactly what we want. Let's take a look in the graph editor once again. And now we have this nice curves. And by the way, I always just drag the last keyframe out a bit so that the ending of the whole animation isn't that hard. And let's take a look how this null object is swinging. Quite nice. And this is all which we are going to do for the animation. So let's maybe call this the animator. And now we can bring up some text. So let's go to the text tool and just type I am. Now we have to prepare the text layer in the same way Then we have the null object. And the first thing is that we make it 3D. And as you see, if I click on the animator, you see that the anchor point is at the top. And if I click on the text layer, the anchor point is at the bottom. So to fix that, we just grab the pen behind tool, which is over here and take the anchor point to the top. And if we now select the I am layer, click R and do the same for the animator. Click R, we have the rotations. And if I now alt click, which means I hold down the alt key and click on the X rotation for the text layer, I can now grab this pick whip here and connect it to the X rotation of the animator. Like so. And if I now just click away, you can see that those layers are now 
connected and the IM is swinging. Perfect. Exactly what we want. And just be aware that the whole animation lies in the animator and not in the IM. It's just connected. And this is why we are now able to do the same thing with the second text layer. And I'm going to do exactly the same, so I quickly also skip this step. Okay, now both of the layers are connected to the animator and they are both swinging. But if we take a look from another view, let me just quickly bring out a new camera. Okay, if I orbit around the scene now, you can see that they are swinging, but they are really not connected to each other. So to fix this problem, I just show you a quick trick. Let me just quickly reset the camera. And what we have to do now is we have to pre-compose the swinging with all its swinging information in it and then apply the same swing expression to the composition. Okay, sounds complicated, but let me just quickly show you how this is done and you will see that this is not that hard to do. So I just have to pre-compose the swinging by clicking on it and go to layer pre-compose. It's all the way down here. And if I now click on it, there will be a warning. So let me just call this first swing. Okay, and there is the warning. I just show you what it means. If I now just go in the first swing, it has still this expression on and it's connected to the animator, but there's no animator in here. So what we could do is just copy this animator, paste it in here and everything would be fine, but we don't do this. And I show you in one minute why we don't do it that way. So we fix this problem in another way and we just make a right click here and choose undock. And now we have this composition undocked from the panel and we can now go into the rotation again and bring out the rotation for the animator. And if we now take the pick whip and connect it again to the X rotation of the animator, click away, you can see that now everything should work. Let me just bring this composition down here again. And both of the layers are swinging again. We have to make this one 3D again. Okay, now we have to apply the same swing info to this composition. But now here comes the tricky part. We now want to put the anchor point of the swinging not to the top of the swinging, but to the same position like the IM layer. So let's click on the IM layer. If we now click Control R, we get those rulers here. And we can just, if we click here into the sides, we can bring down those lines, those guides. And let me just bring this one out so that we can see the position better. And if I click on the first swing now, take the pen behind tool, I can now position the anchor point in the exact same spot. Now let's bring out the rotation for the swing. Alt click on it and connect it once again to the X rotation. And now you can see that they are both swinging around the same point. But if I orbit around it with the camera again, you may see that this is still not what we wanted. And to fix that, there's once again another trick. Because it doesn't take the swing info from the first swing. And to do that, we have to turn on this collapse transformation switch here. What this does, it just looks in the composition in the first swing 
and takes all the info out of the first swing and puts it into this swing tutorial composition. Okay, if I just click on it, you will see what it means. And if I orbit around it now, you can see that the animation is doing what we want it. They are connected to each other and each of them swinging in the same way separately. And this looks even better if we now turn on motion blur here for the layer and here for the whole composition. And you can see that you are not able to turn on motion blur here because we have put on collapse transformation. So you have to go to the first swing and turn it on here and for the composition. And now if I just make a preview, you can see that both of the layers are swinging really nice. And now the cool thing why we did it with just one animator, we are now able to control the whole animation with this one here. So if you, for example, say I want the animation to start at the one second mark, you can just drag all of this to the one second mark and it starts at one second. And you have to be aware that it is the IM layer that is rotating, the swinging and also the swinging composition. So we control all of this with just the animator or if we say we want this not to be that fast, you can bring it back to the start, select all of them, hold down the Alt key and if you now drag out, all of the keyframes are also extended. So let's make this over four seconds. And if we now make a preview, you can see that the whole animation is slower, but everything is connected. And this is supposed to be the end of this tutorial, but let me just show you two quick tips on how you even have more control over all of this. So what I did in the final, in my final render, I thought that the swinging is always just swinging too high. It would be nice if they would be connected, but if, if it just wouldn't swing that much. And how can we achieve that without destroying the animation or the animator? We can simply go into the swinging animation of the swinging, which is the first swing and go into our X rotation in here. And this is our expression, which we have here. And if we don't want it that hard, we can simply type in divide by two, for example, if this is easier for you. And now you see that at the beginning, if you look here, it just has 45 degrees and not 90. And if we now go back into the, into the complete animation, you can see that they are still connected, but the swinging doesn't always bend over here. So you really can control all of the swinging infos separately, but they are all still connected to the animator. Okay, the next thing I want to show you at the end of this tutorial is one thing which you can't really handle with the animator. And this is a problem which I had, but I also found a solution and I just want to share this one with you. So let's say we have an other text layer. Now this one is also swinging, but if we now, like I did it in my example video, I had this first flow motion presents and then a few seconds later it says, the swing tutorial and I first thought hmm, let's just drag this in other layer over for one second and I want it to start here but as you see it doesn't work because it always takes the rotation of this point in time so if I just bring it out to four seconds where there's no animation the another layer also does nothing so how can we fix that I found a quick solution with an expression and I know 
expressions are always hard to do and you don't want to use them because you have to have so many things in mind. So I just show you this one. And if you don't want to keep it in mind, I just post it on my page directly below this video. But it's just one line you have to add. And let me just quickly show this to you because if you just have those two or three layers like I have here, there should be no problem in simply making two different animators. But let's say you have over 10 or 20 different layers and you want to have control over the animations, it's just easier to do it with a nice expression. So let me just show this one to you. You have this expression already set up and at first you just make a point here. New line and we want to change the value for the swinging to another point in time. So let's just type value at time and you have to also use those capital letters here. And now we make open bracket and we take the time minus the frame rate where we want all of this to start. So let's say we want to have this other text layer here to start swinging at frame 10. So we just type in 10 here times or star this comp and again capital letter comp point frame duration and close bracket again. If we now click away, you can see that this layer here isn't swinging and you can see the frames over here until I get to frame number 10. And now it starts swinging and if I just type in 20, you can see it's not swinging until you see here frame 20 and now it starts also. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit and until next time I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects.